what's up gang it's willie rebuild back with another one got the old boat strapped down on the trailer as you can see went ahead and got everything situated and hooked up over here by the tuna trying to see if he can get me some fire in the hole so i can head to the exhaust shop that's right i'm gonna go ahead and um get a running and driving that way i can uh i don't have to push it around the shop in and out as you can see it's a big car will it rebuild is a one-man show so i can't be pushing it on and off the trailer i'm gonna take it to the exhaust shop get the exhaust put on once i get some fire in the hole and then i'll come back over here by the tuner and get him to uh put it on a dyno and fine tune it as you can see got the exhaust uh magna flow mufflers two and a half inch got an x pipe gotta get two v bands for it and go ahead and get it to the exhaust shop let him go ahead and put the exhaust under there talk to the customer he won't dump it at the rim, so that's what I'm gonna do. And get them AC lines hooked up and get it on the road, gang. It's time to clear the shop out. Yes, sir. As you can see, she got she got old heavy loaded, loaded down. Loaded down. Old heavy, she got over here. Ain't gonna get her back. But it's a lot of weight back there. It's an elephant back there. Need a 427 under the hood of this big heavy motherfucker. With a blower on there. Or some nitrous. To get it out the way. That's right. But I ain't gonna do too much talking. Um, I'm gonna let him go ahead. His laptop went dead on him. Let him go ahead and get on dialed in for me. And see if we can get fire in the hole, gang. OLT1, she just about on her way out the door, baby. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the dino video. First LT swap on the channel, baby. That's right. I take them both, LS and LT. Hey, that's what we doing over here. Take them both, look at it. Look at it under there, gang. Old Willie Rebuild, baby. They say I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm steady knocking them motherfuckers out and letting them do all the talking. They talking, and I'm turning wrenches and getting the cars down the road. That's right. Get them ready for he can head over to the body shop and the interior shop. And y'all will see him on one of them old channels with the trunk shaking off of there saying ooh and ah but don't forget where y'all seen that motherfucker first over here with willie rebuild baby that's right mr miyagi i'm gonna cut y'all back on the mini all right gang it's willie rebuild baby i'm back it's another day i done made it back over here to the shop and boy oh boy we got a lot of problems and figuring out and situations and all kind of shit going on gang but if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like, uh, that like, share, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe, baby, because it's never a dull moment over here with Willie Rebuild. That's right. So let me get y'all in here on the dump. We done made it back to the shop. It's like about two or three days later. And the reason I had the time in between the start of the video and now is because I had a lot of situation and figuring out to do, gang. So, without further ado, let me turn this camera around and we gonna start talking about what I done figured out on the situation with the don't, baby. All right, gang. As y'all can see, the beautiful job that with the rebuild went ahead and did while I was doing the swap now this is not the finished product i still got a couple of things to do um as y'all can see i just ran this temporary 
uh, alternator wire form. I'm going to go ahead and put a zero gauge on there like he had before and loom that up. And then I still got to get my AC lines situated. But I went ahead and uh, took it over there to the tuner because what I was trying to do is I was trying to get the car to where it can run and drive so I can put the, bring it to the exhaust shop and get the exhaust put on there, gang. But once we went over there to the tuner, I found out that everything was not the way that it's supposed to be. That's why the old timers will tell you, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. That's right. So let me bring y'all in the car and I'm going to show y'all what we got going on, what me and the tuna was encountering. And then I'll let y'all know what's going on and how we going to fix it. So if I crank the car, and let me show y'all here because my little light going dead because I forgot it on. But if I go ahead and crank the car up, I don't have no throttle response. That's right. So I said, what in the world? What's going on here, baby? Will it rebuild? I know I got these wires hooked up, right? So when you got a problem like that, what's going to happen is you, the guy that's installing all this shit, you're going to start second guessing yourself or trying to make sure that it's not something that you did wrong. So the first thing that I did was, I pull a wire harness down, I get the manual out, I go to double checking to make sure I got all my I's dotted and all my T's crossed, which they was. So now, um, I'm, in a, I'm, in a, I'm in a situation to where I don't know which way to turn, which way to go, because everything looked like it's supposed to be, gang. So, I go to double checking and checking some things out. So I'm gonna bring y'all back to the beginning. I'm gonna turn the camera around. When I first got this engine, this engine was supposed to come from a 2019 Camaro. Now, I don't know every spec on every year call and all this shit here, but I do know this, that some Camaros come with eight speeds some of them come with 10 speeds. So I asked the guy and remind you, when I say the guy, I'm not talking about this customer because the customer stay out of town and he got a guy, one of his buddies stay down here where I'm at in DFW. So he been a middleman taking care of all the business for him. And also he the guy that supplied the engine. So. I just wanted to clarify that so y'all won't think it's directly the customer because the customer, he don't have an idea what's going on with a lot of this stuff. So let's get that out the way. So back to what I was saying. The engine and trans supposed to come from a 2019 Camaro. So I asked him, I said, what transmission do they have behind the engine? A speed or a 10 speed? He said, man, I don't know for sure. Let me call you back. So he called the guys or whatever who, well, I guess where he got the motor from. And they tell him it's an eight-speed. I said, okay. So when I order my harness, I get a harness for 2016 plus LT Gen 5 uh, L86 or whatever for eight-speed transmission. When he gave me the engine, it was a complete engine. This, all the old parts that come off the engine, the old wire harness and everything. Everything that came off his old engine, I still got it in the shop right now. So 
When I looked around the engine, I noticed that the engine was missing the ECU and it was missing the TCU. To break that down to guys that's unfamiliar with those, that terminology, your ECM is the engine control module. Your TCM is the transmission control module. So I noticed those two was missing. I called the guy back, I tell him, hey, you missing the computers that go with the engine. He said, don't worry about it. You know, a little time passed, he came, dropped me off the, the ECM, but he still never dropped me off a TCM. So he finally bring that, I put the motor in the car. He give me the gas pedal to go with the car. So me and the tuner, we going back and forward on what's the situation with this shit. So as you can see, this is the gas pedal that he supplied me with. I don't know how good y'all can see down there, but this is the gas pedal that he gave me with the car. When I ordered the harness, I told the people I want a harness for a Camaro gas pedal. Now, I need to get the light under here. I need to get the big light under here because I need the customer to see this shit here so he can understand what's going on, gang. Let's get that big light in there and light it up. Turn on the lights, baby. That's right. So as y'all can see down in there, that's the pedal that he gave me. I made a bracket for it. It's looking nice and pretty like it came from the factory in there. But guess what, gang? That ain't the right fucking pedal. So y'all see that pedal. This is a Camaro pedal. This is a flow mounted pedal. That's the pedal that go in the car. This the pedal that supposed to be for the harness. Now y'all probably wondering, well, Willie Rebuild, you should have known that. Maybe, maybe not. But what threw me off was when you go on PSI website, they got a pedal on the website that looked just like the pedal that's in the car. But when I double back and looked at it and read the fine print, that pedal is for a Caprice. So I said, oh man, we got a problem here. We ain't got no throttle response. So what I need to do is, I need to go and get a pedal from a Camaro just to see if I'm gonna have some throttle response. So I'm gonna set y'all up right here. Set y'all up right here and I'm gonna take this pedal out or uh, unplug it, I ain't gonna take it out. Cause we gotta get down to the bottom of this. So uh, I'ma take the pedal, I'ma unplug the pedal. And let me see if I can cut my little light back on right there. Y'all probably ain't gonna see much, but all I'm doing is going under here to unplug the pedal because I wanna show y'all something, gang. Okay, so the pedal unplug, as y'all can see, and now I'm going to take our flow mounted pedal for the Camaro. This is a Camaro pedal for 2018 or something like that. And I'm going to plug that in. And now I'm going to start the car. I'm going to start the car up, gang. And now we're going to have some throttle response. So it's going to get loud, but watch my hand when I'm pressing the pedal that we got throttle response. So now y'all see why will it rebuild ain't have no throttle response. But guess what gang, it don't stop there. Hold on, let me close the door. Let me close the door and turn the camera back to me because it don't stop there, gang. So not only do I have a wrong pedal, once I put the pedal in, I got the wrong TCM. I got the wrong ECM. I said, what in the hell? I got a goddamn Frankenstein bill I'm working on. I got a motor out of 2016 to 18, I don't know exactly which year, but I think it's an 18. And then I got a, uh, I got an ECM that come from a 2022 Camaro. 
And then I got a TCM from a 2019 Camaro. Hey gang, this is why I'm about to stop letting the customers supply the parts because I can't trust the customers to know that where they getting this shit from is gonna be the right parts. These people will say you ain't give you anything if you don't know what you're looking at, baby. So now what I gotta do to fix this problem, I gotta get another TCM. My tuna gonna try to use the ECM and flash the shit to make it work. And now I gotta get another TCM Cause that one for a 19, but first I gotta make a few phone calls to see if what I'm trying to do gonna work. Because now, Willie Rebuild is the one that's responsible for saving this fucking shit right here and making it work right, gang. See, that's, that's the thing. So now I can't sleep at night cause I'm trying to figure out, you know, I need to make all this shit work some way, somehow, because if it's been here in my possession, I done been showing it to y'all. I got the first LT swap on the channel, baby. I got fire in the hole. I got drive. I ain't got no reverse because I ain't got the right TCM in the fucking cars in lump mode. This is the fucking situation, gang. See, they don't tell y'all all this when they go to talking about the shop. They don't tell y'all all this bullshit that the fucking guy at the shop got to go through to get this son of a bitch to go down the road and everybody can say, ooh and ah. They don't tell you all that, gang. That's right. So that's the situation that I got. Y'all see, I got fire in the hole. I got throttle response now. Now, I'm going to tell you all this. I'm going to tell you all this. That gas pedal right there, I only got that pedal for test purposes only. Because like I say, I done already made a bracket for the other style pedal that he brought me. So now I called PSI and that other pedal that I told y'all about that was on side of that Camaro pedal on the website, the Caprice pedal, he said that that pedal is compatible with the Camaro pedal so I can use that pedal to mount it up in the car. I might have to do a little modifications to that, but I'm thinking I can still use my same bracket game. So that's the situation. Um, with the dope, I've been so wrapped up and tied up with that to, um, I got the lifters and shit somewhere for the box Chevy, but I'm about to get the box Chevy underway. This right here is just going to be a matter of flashing the TCMs and all that there, uh, replacing the TCM, getting it unlocked so we can go in it and tune it because we need to get it unlocked anyway because the car got an aftermarket convert in it. So this car right here is just gonna be a matter of me getting all that stuff situated. And I'm gonna be working on the box seven next week. So I'm gonna bring that footage to y'all for that. I'm gonna finish building the four way stroker right here under this cover. I got the lifters and the trays and fucking all that shit somewhere in here. But I've been so much uh, messing with this and trying to figure out the figure outs with that, I don't even know where I put the lifters at, gang. The lifters might be in the trunk. I might have never even took them out of my truck. But that's the situation that I got to go through. Yeah, they ain't in the truck. But I do have the, I do have my little container right here to soak the lifters in i think i put the lifters inside the box chevy so i'm gonna go ahead and get those lifters soaking in the oil and i'm gonna go ahead let it go down there on the floor i thought i knew i had put them in the car But there go my lifters. Here go my lifter trays. And I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff. Get those lifters soaking in some braking oil. And next week, we're going to start on the 
we gonna start on the four-way stroker and I gotta make a few phone calls to figure out the situation with the TCM so I can get it out of lump mode. And that way I can bring the car to the exhaust shop and get the AC lines made and get it out the door. But as y'all can see, old Willie Rebuild got fire in the hole, but I ain't happy with that. I won't leave a long black line in it. That's what I like to do when they work me hard. I like to get in them and I like to leave a long black line. That's right, I want it running and driving because one thing and two things for sure. If I start the job, I'm gonna finish the job, I'm gonna get it done and I'm gonna get it done right. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. It's Willie Rebuild, baby, over and out.